Okay, so let's go over the ingredients. We're using some ancho chilies, which are smoked poblanos. They're mild, not too spicy. Guajillos, very earthy, not too spicy. We're using some tomatoes. We're using a smoked jalapeno, AKA chipotle, which is very spicy. We're using some onion, some garlic, and the most important part are the spices. So I'm using cumin, very important, some clove, some allspice, some cinnamon, black pepper, dried mushrooms, and avocado leaves. So let's get started. So we're gonna toast these chilies medium heat just to bring out that flavor a lot of people just soak them in hot water but i like to toast them i think it tastes a little bit better it's also much easier to deceive these chilies once they're toasted they get really brittle so for the guajillo i just rip off the stem and then i just dump it right out those seeds will pour right out very easy just get rid of as many seeds as possible one or two is okay but just do the best you can and for the ancho i do the same thing i just rip off the top pour those smoked seeds out. I don't bother saving the seeds, although you probably could do something with them. I just throw them away. And now your chilies are ready to go. Now to a blender, add your chipotle. If you want this more spicy, add more chipotle. Really, it's up to you. Add your tomato. I like to add dried mushrooms. If you have them on hand, go ahead and use them. If not, leave them out. Add your spices to the blender. Add your garlic to the blender. Add your onions to the blender. One thing I would like to point out, go ahead and toast your spices. I didn't show it in this video, but I always toast my spices. It makes them taste better. Go ahead and add your chilies right in the blender. And now we're gonna season it with a little bit of salt. I like to add two tablespoons of salt and I add about a cup of water so everything blends smoothly and just blitz it over high until it's nice and smooth. It's gonna get nice and red and it's gonna be a beautiful marinade for your meat. There's no recipe really. If you want more of some ingredient, add more, it's up to you. Of course, taste it, make sure it has enough salt, make sure it has enough spice. I like using chuck roast. I think it has a great balance of meat and fat. It's fairly inexpensive and it works terrific for this recipe. I recommend using anything that's cheap that takes a long time to cook. Something like a brisket would work well, short ribs would work well. This chuck roast works fantastic. And we're just gonna dump our marinade on that meat and we're gonna let it sit as long as possible. I let this one sit for about 30 seconds, but I recommend letting it sit overnight. It's really gonna develop a lot better flavor. Although this turned out excellent. Add a little bit of water to that chuck roast. Add your avocado leaves on top. And now we're gonna cook it in the pressure cooker. I recommend this pressure cooker is so much easier. Everybody's lives are very busy and it really doesn't compromise much flavor or quality. So just use the pressure cooker if you have one. I did 90 minutes high pressure. If not, you can cook it low and slow, 350, 325 for two to three hours, but the pressure cooker, it turns out amazing. Now it's important, once it's cooked, let it sit in the liquid until it cools down for one to two, maybe even three hours. If you take it out when it's boiling hot, it's gonna taste really dry. So it's still hot, even though it's been chilling for about two hours. Now we're just gonna remove a couple pieces place them in a bowl and we're going to shred it with a couple forks into large chunks and you can see it's not completely mushy it still has a little bit of texture to it but it does shred very easily that's exactly what you want now in order to make the consomme as they call it the broth we're going to ladle some of that beautiful liquid into a container now we have to take the fat off the top of that consomme so use a spoon and spoon it into the pan that you're going to be cooking that cheesy taco in so this is going to yield about two to three tablespoons of fat now you have a nice clean consomme soup. We're gonna season it up with a little bit of lime juice and salt. Once you've seasoned the broth to your liking, set it in a bowl, place it aside, and we're gonna build our beautiful quesabiria taco. So with that same grease that we removed from that consomme, we're gonna fry our tortilla in. Completely up to you how much fat you wanna use, how much meat and cheese you wanna use. I toast up both sides of the tortilla in the fat. I get it nice and flavorful, nice and fragrant. And then I do a nice, generous coating of the beef on top. I use about four ounces of beef and about two ounces of cheese. If you wanna do more cheese, really it's up to you. Feel free to be my guest. This is your recipe, make it your own. And you're gonna cook it low and slow. It's gonna be about five to 10 minutes per taco. You're gonna fold it over once things start to get nice and crispy and, and melty. And then you're gonna to continue to cook it until it gets a little bit crispy on both sides. This is all you have to do to make a wonderful taco. Is it the most authentic thing in the world? No, I, I'm not claiming for it to be super authentic, but I am claiming for it to be so, so good. And you definitely have to try this. I highly recommend it. Once you have your taco fried up, you're gonna top it with a little bit of freshly chopped onion and a little bit of cilantro, some of that dipping sauce on the side. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like, that subscribe, and we'll see you soon.